Hello, Post University Esports fans. My name is Warren Jungle God Hammond. Excited to be bringing you Overwatch 2 action. It's week number five here at the ECAC. And currently, Post University Eagles are sitting at a perfect record. So uh, tonight, they're going to be going up against SUNY Plattsburgh. Uh, this should be a very, very good match. I'm very much looking forward to it. Um, so thank you all so much uh, for joining in. I uh, had to do a little bit of adjustment with uh, some of my stream stuff, so in chat, if you notice anything is up, just shoot me a message, let me know in chat, and I'll be sure to fix it right away. Uh, both of these teams are ready to go here. It's going to be Nepal first. Um, let me double check. Yep, there we go. Uh, so they're going to be loading into it immediately. right now, PSU is going to be in the red. So I'm expecting to see uh, Ramatra come out. Multigold fantastic on the Ram. And yeah, not surprised to see that at all. Torero uh, choosing the Reaper this time, which I think is a good option. The May Bastion is as well. Um, I like that too because that's going to a lot of pressure on the tank, whoever ends up being the uh, tank to kind of drop the point is going to just have to deal with the May wall and uh, just the incoming barrage of damage that will certainly Five, be headed their way four, by a Bastion. Three, uh, two, with the Kiriko, sodium one. level on. Round one. Lucio, Capture no surprises the there. As opposed to just going straight to point, and this is. Uh, it's pretty standard for what you do if you are running a composition with May. You just kind of want to get to the point, make sure that you're there to the wall up. Uh, so I'm just kind of playing off on the side there. Uh, so it's going to be pretty good. That's going to be something like the DPS. We will see the TV track. Go to the wall. Yeah, now we're going to go to the wall. 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 Even the mecha as well. That's really a very good theory. Uh, by the foot that I'm like, I'm going to be dead possession for a bunch of people. Oh, that's just great for Post University. They're going to be able to really um, kind of capitalize on the fact that that, uh, that came in late, those kills right there. Yeah, just the. Here they are. Get ready. There we go. Back in the game. Yeah, that should be better now. Again, in chat, let me know if uh, things are a little off. Make sure I got all the game. Uh, most of us got over the back, so now, yeah, most of us are going to have to be back. Wait, some of that damage, but as a Diana, as you go straight to the pack, like, all the original beacon out of there, that's the DPS for ADS. And she's got three thousand points, and she's going to have to be at the point. So, that's going to be a uh, point now taken by the uh, Blaster. But Post University finds another pick on doing DPS which means that the rest of the is just going to have to push back and off the point. So, Post University has it back again. There's a few ultimates ready to go as well. Ooh, Trier and Sodium level both pick up. So I think the big thing the post needs to watch out for here is Saucy Pickles and Ab Banana. If, they, if those two can combine Terra Surge into the Dragon Strike, uh, that could be just a tremendous amount of pain, especially if oh, 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 really keep an eye on that in Ab, but that's going to be a big, um, very aggressive early push from Post University. They keep the tempo. They say, you know what, we're going to be the one who are, ones who are dictating this fight, who are dictating kind of the pace of things, and they're able to take that fight very short succession. Torero coming in with their ultimate, seeing if they can find somebody trying to get the point. They look to be taking out this. Uh, Hanzo. Look, I don't think anybody's even trying to get the point because Post University won that last fight so late. So great job there from Post. 
just a moment as I continue to work with sounds and things. Check one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, that's looking a little bit better now. So I think you should be able to hear me much clearer over the game volume in chat now. Was where we head next, and Admin and a Blight have One. a bit of an advantage here, certainly with the environmental things that's going to be the case. Definitely, uh, since the last mobile DPS, I'm really going to want to keep an eye out on that. So, any level. Ah. 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 Post University gets a little bit on the board. I think they're actually very close to, uh, well, not very close, but halfway to the sound barrier. Trying to take care of control of this high ground push. This is definitely now most bad. This is a lot of damage, but takes a lot of their own. Picked the parts and now Pussy Bird is going to try to push up low, but Greg and everybody else are going to be aware of that's really something that Pussy's watch out for. Bad news, a little bot could be in the but Pussy Bird is still down by one of those levels, does have their um, sound barrier. Not sure if they're going to be in the big game, but they left it. Yet this last hit here onto the cat body, especially if Guerrero is back now. as they needed to there to get a good solid push. But now they've got a lot of ultimates on the board, a lot of things that they can use um, Match this to take is. this point for a lot of pressure yeah, on the FCS. Yeah, on the board. So this is the last of my character in most of the team to get this point. And once they do, they have to hold it for the rest of the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just my sound settings. So we're gonna try this and see how it goes. Oops. Five, four, three, two, one. Go over to capture the JQ. So this is gonna potentially, this should put a lot of pressure on the back line. Uh, multi kill we're probably gonna see them just kind of rush in with this JQ. Look at my head, thought that that they can't do out of the Currently, Sykes on this rig, that's just getting JQ dick right there, in fact it is. Knife goes out, they're unable to patch anything with it. Now here on the flank, you from the right side over here, uh, the statue. Multi kill able to get another pair with Ferrero. That will be Post Percy taking this fight. So, the Justice has. 
have his main by post. Let's see if they're gonna hold. Let's see if now SUNY Plattsburgh opts for some kind of adjustment of their own. Um, at least at the moment, it doesn't look like they're going to. They kind of like the formula that they've got here. There's not a whole lot of healing, so that's definitely something that Post University can keep uh, keep in mind. They do have a lot of AOE heals, a lot of sustain with their healing, but it's not going to be a lot of burst healing, and that could be the difference maker, especially if you got someone like Barrow shooting rail over to do um, just a mix of it. Last metal goes down very low, so Rero taking one of the damage down as well, trying to take out a couple of players. Admin and it goes down first. So, beautiful shot there from Rero to finish another off. It's just great, it doesn't find it. Another fight, one for Post University, and now they're sitting on a couple of moves as well, as they're going to be able to push into the next fight. But they should be able to get that stagger too, which is, again, going to be huge. The stagger game for Post University has been very strong so far this map. So we're tied up one apiece here. Croissant. On Nepal. Which I do believe was SUNY Plattsburgh's pick. I suppose the university has to be feeling pretty good about this as well. But they definitely don't want to count anything out. Saucy Pickles is now onto the Reaper, so that'll put some extra pressure on multi cal And the backline if they're able to get in there. So we're definitely going to be watching them to see what uh, happens there. Barrow's getting very close to the overclock, too. The trail in isn't going to find anybody. There's Saucy. Um, flanking. Forced to raise away. So that's going to be big here for both University. to a short break as I try and get a couple more settings worked out here but don't go anywhere we will be back very soon uh, with map number two
Hello, everybody, and welcome back. We're here in Paraiso for map number two. <clears throat> it's Post University looking to go up 2 0 right now. Pretty solid start on Nepal. They dropped one map, but they picked up right where they left Great. off, kind of made some adjustments and were able to successfully fend off SUNY Plattsburg. But you move to a different map, a new locale. And Post University this time gonna drop the Sigma onto the map, so they're definitely gonna be looking to poke more, and that's really reflected a lot in the rest of the hero choices here, too. So we've got Torero on Hanzo, as well as Vero back on the Sojourn, so we're going to be looking to those two players to kind of take a couple of angles here. Mr. are going to get a little bit of info here to start out. But it's really going to be up to these two to kind of find those picks as this composition from City Plattsburgh pushes the point. It's going to be difficult uh, with Ad Banana. Ad Banana has a lot of different options as to how they kind of want to take this on Wrecking Ball because they can harass the back line, they can harass um, multi on the city as well by kind of pushing uh, in. Ad Banana drops back and the rest of uh, Posey Mercy actually gives up that high ground position. So that's a lot of you know, space gained here by Ad Banana. But in the meantime, Vessel has dropped. The rest of Posey Mercy just kind of stood their ground. Posey falls as well. So not quite enough disruption really done by Ad Banana at this point to uh, kind of find that value that we're looking for on the Wrecking Ball. Mokio does, unfortunately, not hit that rock before Edna is able to take out Sodium level, so now, yeah, Pokemon are going to be backing up quite a bit. Throw the shield in front of Edna and see if they can keep it from getting killed, but not going to be able to find be a pick for pick there. Sausage Pickles gets a dobbing one though. So now, Posey Mercy really just needs to try and hold on to the point as long as they can or regroup for another retake. Uh, Multi kill does fall, so that's likely just going to be streets phase now for Post University, as you're not going to be able to push in without that tank. So great kind of patient play coming out from Sunny Plasberg there to give them that capture. Stop the pain. Dropping back a little bit by while well, the rest of the team kind of gets position. Abanana is going to be wanting to find kind of some off angles here, uh, not be pushing with the cards. So while they're here, this is great for Post University. They have to be happy about that because this is giving them a lot of opportunity to kind of take some of these high ground positions, especially Sodium on the Zen, who has picked out Ad Banana. They have to get the Discord Orb on a lot of damage going in, and they're able to just kind of capitalize on the fact that the rest of the team wasn't really there to support Ad Banana after they. Uh, tried to disengage. Here comes a dragon strike right on the point. It's going to force out the bait from uh, Vessel. But players continue to drop for Post University as they're um, look at this half metal actually just going nuts in the back line of Post University. So, gotta watch out for that. Um, uh, definitely gotta watch out for that uh, Kiriko. Definitely a mess up a team. So now both teams setting on a lot of different ultimates. Uh, Torero has Come gone over to the Cassidy, and that's Let like the Cassidy. Uh, that's gonna be a Torero big minefield as Lavamel is able to finish off Torero. Credit uh, luck for Multikel, tries to find something, but is unable to. Last metal continues to fly this in the back line. Back to the to try and get through this last little bit of health that Multigale has, and Lats, Sydney Plattsburgh looks great on this map. They really, I think, understand how to play this Wrecking Ball composition and how to utilize kind of the uh, the important places on this map. As we've seen, Abanana kind of contest that high ground, make it so that nobody can really stand up there. So new level is actually going to swap over to the map piece now. So maybe this will be a good response, a good answer here from Post University to try and just keep themselves alive a little bit more. But honestly, I think the big player that they need to watch out for is Laft Metal. Laft is just getting away with literal murder in the back line. Um, 
ultimate now for Sosu. Immortality field taken out, but pretty well by Sony's level. Uh, Sosu is gone now, but Black Metal is still doing a lot of damage. Gojo throws out the Kitsune Rush, but they're unable to capitalize on any of it as just a barrage of damage comes in from Sunni Flash for 345 on the clock. And I'm not sure Post University even gets a touch here. It's going to be anybody. It's going to be Terrera, but it's going to have to just dive onto point and is unable to. The roll just a little bit late, so 339 on the clock for SUNY Plattsburgh. That is a massive time bank here. And that is a statement from SUNY Plattsburgh, too. An absolute statement. Initiating match. So what will be the response from Post? Because I don't think they were quite ready for that. Um, so they're going to have a few seconds here to debate and spawn as they choose their heroes. Ready for battle. So at least at the moment, they're sticking with what they like. Abanana staying on the wrecking ball as well. Plattsburgh is definitely going to be looking for early engagements here. That's kind of how you want to hold space with a wrecking ball, especially on the defense. Because you're not going to have a front line to really stop multi go, which means that you're going to need to play pretty aggressively on that wrecking ball with the rest of the heroes that they've picked. Plus, University, on the other hand, is just going to need to try and figure out a way to sustain themselves through these dives and then capitalize on that lack of frontline presence to find the picks that they need. Ooh, big TT as Harrow's onto the Symmetra. So that's going to do a great job of kind of just getting rid of all that poke time that Advanana desperately wants. In the meantime, Harrow has found one. Another falls almost immediately to Barrow, who's just getting a tremendous amount of value out of that Symmetra. One thing already on the board for Toasty Mercy, Advanana trying to find something, trying to poke a little bit in the back by Bone Kill takes down Tosu, and that is going to be the first point captured even quicker than we saw Suni Plattsburgh. So this could be just a pair of blitzes through Paraiso. So again, this high ground is definitely going to be something that Post Green wants to take. And already Sony level trying to out duel Saucy Pickles. The rest of the team is there at this point, so Sony level is going to want to play this carefully now. The other option is Post University can just say, you know what, we're going to play on card here, force you to come down to us, which it looks like is going to be the plan. Sodium boops a couple people to different high grounds and off the high grounds. Roll through from Ed Banana. Not going to find anything, but the Pile Driver onto JoJo is going to do a bit of damage. Vero now looking to get that beam going, has found her way up to this high ground, where she can just put a lot of pressure on that soldier. Meantime, Mokel finds Posu. So it's another crack in the armor right now at this point. Players moving over near coast, so that could be prime territory for Wrecking Ball to get some things up. A nice TP from Vero. He's going to be able to put a lot of pressure on Saucy. And if nothing else, just push this kind of out of position. Ooh. Just one more hit from anybody. Should take off. Uh, take out Saucy Pickles. Vero does find Ad Banana and the heals that they need. 552 on the clock. And Saucy. Tries to get something going with that attack visor, but doesn't find anything. Now I'm wondering guess that if they're going to be swapping now, um, because that fight was definitely over at that point. Yeah, and we do get the swap over to the Reaper, so that's going to be telegraphed a little bit for both University, but they're going to know anyway if they're hitting tab, if they're checking, making sure that they're staying on top of things like that. Abanana sitting up, kind of on the side here, looking to roll through. Saucy Pickles goes for something over here on the side. Goes for the TV on the back line. Very aware of it, though. But they're unable to get into their Jared form quick enough to do anything about it. So now, Saucy looking for something else. Jojo lets loose with the Kitsune Rush. 
He's gonna try and chase off that Reaper, finds them in the end. Sound Barrier comes in uh, from Vessel, but it's not gonna be quick enough to save Saucy. At this point, Jojo moves to the high ground to see if they can put a little pressure up there. Multi-Kill with their ultimate as well. Jojo goes down to 9 HP, but gets undercover just quick enough. And with a little bit of help from Vessel, almost this game becomes a big minefield, though. Sodium level, though, is in with the Sound Barrier their team alive. Fine specials they get on to point. Now it's going to be another set of missiles coming from above. Guerrero finds Ad Banana as well and Post University puts up a time 42 seconds faster than SUNY Plattsburgh. Score. This, is just a, this is just a battle of two juggernauts on attack is essentially what this has turned into. Because both of these teams are finding a tremendous amount of value um, with their attacking compositions. It's going to be down to, honestly, who puts up the better defense at this point, right? Because both of these squads know exactly what they're doing when they're pushing the card. And again, I think a big part of the success from SUNY Flatsburg was going to be lapped metal on that Kiriko. But I'm honestly just as uh, terrified of them on Zenyatta. And Ad Banana has gone over to the Maga. We'll see if this sticks. Both of these squads kind of keeping each other on their toes in terms of their uh, kind of their compositional looks here. Yeah, as Multikel has moved over to the Battle Cattle. Marissa ready to go here. So good, I think, a combo to watch out for here is uh, Terror Search with really anything, either Vero or Terreros ultimate. Uh, could be pretty big. And yeah, it is going to be Mauga still. Now we got two turrets kind of going at each other as Rare try to put in some damage on Abanana. They go down very low. Can they get them finished off? Not quite this time, but a lot of time burned off the clock there. So that's going to be good for those University. We're keeping everybody alive in the back here. Abanetta going down very low again. Uh, Multicum takes quite a bit of damage. Pushes Abanetta back, but in the meantime falls. That's actually going to be both tanks down as Rare does find somebody. Now we've got a uh, saucy... Um, up on top, trying to put in a little bit of damage. They get a little bit done, but there's not going to be... Oh, never mind. Hush, Rusu finds the pick after Saucy has done some damage, but they're going to be forced back just a little bit. Big anti nade coming in from Sodium. That forces Saucy Pickles back, and they're going to be picked off eventually. Both tanks have rejoined the fight now. Maga trying to get their way on the point, but with 40 seconds, seconds left to go, there's going to have to be a reset here from SUNY Plattsburgh. Breaking them down. One fight remaining. Three, almost four ultimates up and ready to go for Post University. Nothing on the side of SUNY Plattsburgh. It's really going to be Laughed Metal, the only one who has anything. It's going to be that Transcendent so, uh, This might, they might need it to push the point in order to touch. Uh, but more than likely, they're going to want to use it uh, once Ferrero pops one of their ultimates. Already the digital orb on Ferrero, though. They're going to be taken down by Ad Banana. So eight seconds left to go here. We're going to see the drop to point any moment as Maga goes in. It's a big moment from uh, Multical. Finds Vessel, but the Transcendence was there. Torero, are they going to use their ultimate to try and find something here? They push back to point. Yes, in fact, they are. We're going to see if they can get out. <laughs> what are those causing them to drop? It's going to happen. Not going to be able to get anybody, but... Can somebody touch point for post university? Torero is there. They're gonna go for it. Three players there. They just make very quick work of the Omnic Juggernaut. So, stop the pain. A reprieve for a moment. City Plattsburg finds first point at the 11th hour. It is overtime now, so somebody has to stay on guard for Sudi Plattsburgh for the entire rest of this map. All that post university needs to do is force them off. Look 
Jason was already taking quite a bit of damage. Let's go looking for this high ground. Herrera finds Lab Metal. This is a big fight coming out from the tank. Haven't had a dub by Pharaoh, but Morgan takes a lot of damage. Huge! anti day coming in, but now a big ultimate coming out from Evan and as well, and that sustain is gonna mean that they make it through. Uh, Jojo tries to get a little bit done there at the end, but unable to find anything. So now SUNY Plattsburgh might in fact get through this streets phase. I'm not sure if anybody in Post University is actually gonna be able to touch here. Um, no, in fact, I think they're just gonna be forced to kind of give this point away. So SUNY Plattsburgh played that beautifully. I think there was a little bit of an overcommit in terms of ultimates there from Post University as well as Multi Go. Kind of going for that position. But it's tough to do because you definitely don't want to be going straight into the front. You have a nice Terra Surge. Barrow now, big Terra Surge. A Terra Surge to get the kill. Barrow finds another one. Now it's Saucy Banana looking for that attack visor kill. Does find it. It's just going to be down to Maga. On point, they've barely got any HP remaining. So a Nana boosted Terrero is going to be all that it takes to stop the card. 6.85 meters and two checkpoints. A G for SUNY Plattsburgh. Initiating match. So that is uh, quite the push from SUNY. But Post University, I don't believe, I don't believe they lost a fight on their attack. So if they can put up a similar time and a similar push, then they're going to be able to get this map. Now we're going to see even another different look coming out from Ad Banana. Choosing for the Ramatra here. going to be a very brawly affair, but again, Vero is on that Symmetra, so I'm anticipating another TP. I'll be curious to see if they go for the same one, or if they've got a different one planned. Lucio teams, they're going to be able to move very, very quickly. They're going to speed in with the TP. A little bit of damage going into Hosu, that's big. Okay, yeah, they're going to do the TP to the back point from underneath here. Just getting behind the entire squad. Terrero taking a lot of damage. Has the Discord Orb on them as well. That can be pretty problematic if they do go down the city. One DPS falling for each squad. Sony's level takes a lot of damage as well. And Barrow's gonna eventually fall too. So Post University is suffering their first uh, fight loss here on Paraiso. Silver Lining, though, they were able to get a tick on the board. They've got a little under two minutes to make something happen now. Big ult charge coming in for both of the tanks, and that could definitely be uh, something to watch out for. Get a TP to the high ground. Sony level takes out Ad Banana. That's absolutely massive. Now there's very little standing in the way of anybody for Post University, but Vera gets a little over aggressive. Ooh, Terrera taking quite a bit of damage. Jojo doing a good job keeping them up. Here comes Saucy Pickles, though, again, on the Reaper. Has found a couple. They're making this tough, but I believe Post University is going to be able to hold on and get this point. So now. A Step one, accomplished. We gotta move on to the streets phase here. The big plus is multi is about 20% ahead, actually more like 50% ahead of Ad Banana and their ultimate. But Laugh Battle is gonna have their Transcendence ready to go if multi kelp does decide to use their ultimate. So that's gonna be, I think, prime on Post University's mind. They need to find a way to get rid of Laugh Metal or force that Transcendence before uh, multi Kel uses their ultimate, which is now ready to go. And once again, uh, Post University is just kind of, there we go, Laugh Metal is down, so that's huge. 
Holy Gale should be free to use their ultimate now. Posu holding on to that high ground though. Here comes the big ultimate coming out for them. They did find one. Abdinan actually uses their ultimate and finds a big first. 20 seconds left to go here. Who's going to be able to get through this a little bit better? Zodi level doing everything they can now to keep Holy Gale up as they find Vessel too. So that's going to be a big boom for them. But they need to deal with this Bastion up on the high ground before anything else. Bastion actually falls, so that's going to be good for them. But Zen is throwing in a lot of damage here. Holy Gale taking the front of it as they've got a Discord orb. Sony level now pushing forward to see if they can put the pressure on. Sony Rush coming in now. Guerrero does find Laugh Metal again. So no Transcendence again. Uh, Death Blossom coming into the background, but a big uh, Suzu to make sure no damage is done. Just a couple meters left to go. Torero throwing down some covering fire to make sure nobody tries to touch this point as they only have to get it six meters ahead. Laugh Metal does push onto the point though with a transcendence. Not going to be enough to save Hosu. And eventually they do in fact go down. What a map! from both of these teams, but Post-University in the end pulls out the victory. Yeah, Laugh Metal was absolutely ridiculous on this Kiriko. And this is this is one of those defining moments, I think, of this map. Um, it was certainly very, very exciting. So um, we're gonna throw it to a short break, see if these players need to just get some water, take a uh, take a stretch, anything like that. Don't go anywhere. We will be back very soon.
Hello and welcome back everybody. Shambali Monastery is where we're headed for map number three. Haven't seen this one yet. This season for Post University, so looking forward to seeing how they played this one, of course. A lot of long sidelines, lots of big hills here, so Poke is a very strong choice. Brawl is as well, you can dive. It's, it's another, honestly, I think one of the more flexible maps that you can play. level opting for the Alari this time. So those turrets are certainly going to help a uh, multi-call kind of hold ground, hold position, hold space. Certainly going to be something that Ad Banana will have to deal with, especially if they, I like this placement too for this turret, um, because if Ad Banana decides to Five, dive up there, well, they're going to have to deal with that turret three, first. Two, one. Attackers incoming. Stop the pain. Ah, Clear out! Yeah, you are safe with this, uh, this for uh, shooting it's going to be, it looks like we kind of like a high, hybrid to be dive, and they almost don't draw. Big damage coming out on the Ad Banana. They might off more than they can deal with Try to push up onto that high ground. That's just going to be Digging for the rest of everybody. Yes. Arrow finds a nice rail shot on the Advent. One of the smallest hitboxes in the game, actually, on that. Uh, D Mac Eva. He's actually pushing up pretty aggressively here, too. Rare on the soldier, so he says. Big damage. He looks rocking for something. Oh, he's trying to plant right here. Rivera finds a drop on the low ground. Putting themselves in quite a difficult position. That's what goes down low. Multicall does find them in the end as well. Nice trail shot comes out with Rivera, too. And so far, so good for Post University. Abanana also has gone over to the Zig, uh, which is definitely going to be a better pairing against Multicall. Like, yeah, Multicall even gets that. Pick. Hosu is drawn to a Sojourn as well, so that's going to be better able to kind of contest this high ground. So definitely look for Ad Banana to try and push this high ground. They may consider it kind of uh, going to the side here. We can see actually doing that. Right here. Uh, 
SUNY Plattsburgh already. And it, in fact, it was mostly uh, looking for kind of that egg. Abanana actually forced him to get you off. It's a nice SUNY run from JoJo. But they're going to be taken out. Vero, Vessel goes down low. Vero able to take him out. Pack is now from Vero. They just put more fifth and unity beyond that barrier of Abanana as well. Multicale looking to clean up the rest of the bills here. Koji versus just has a strangle right now on this joke. Suzu already forced out from last metal too. The last metal is on that carry, uh, which is definitely something to look out for. Definitely something to watch. They are very uh, deadly on that here. A lot of damage goes in from Multigel on to but They're going to be able to heal back up. But 134 on the clock, and no progress is really been made here. Getting also coming out from Multigel as well, but they're going to be rocked down. Plus, it matters. Sodium level. Huge play coming out from their ultimate. Finds the 4K. But Multigel is sent back to spawn, so now. Close University might have to back up, might have to give some space here, especially considering there's about a minute left to go. So we're going to be looking for Evans and to kind of push this here, but Last Metal goes down immediately to Vero Mines and with their Helix Rockets. She'll take quite a bit of damage. So yeah, without uh, Multicale to kind of hold this front line here, this position has to be given up by Close University. So this could definitely be some ground game here. And Banana goes in for the Rabidic Flux. Nice sound barrier, but Guerrero doesn't catch it. It doesn't look like actually he does uh, sound barrier. His Pokemon really does not have a Lucio at this point. It's a big uh, play coming out here for Sunni Plattsburgh. They're trying to chase down Multicolor as well. He's going to find that pick. We've now reached overtime, so Suzu has to be used already. Should be back up about middle of this next fight, though. Black Metal puts in a lot of damage. Of course, he uses Suzu of their own. Go to to keep himself alive from having to have that. For this pack visor that Guerrero is getting that's such a good reason to be able to rush out from Black Metal. That's going to be problematic. Uh, Guerrero needs to get this ultimate quickly, and Multicale going to have to maintain. Boy, here comes the Suzu rush now from her, uh, Jojo Guerrero finds their tag visor going up straight against the other teams, finds the kills. It's going to be multi kill with their ultimate on point, and they do stop the card right at the precipice of second point. Score zero, zero. Switching sides. Initiating match. Post University just needs to play this one, I think, slow and steady. No risky plays. Just look for those Ready players out of position. As long as Post University does what they know how to do, I think they should be fine here. Vera back on the uh, Symmetra, too, so definitely looking for more TP shenanigans. Multicale actually going to go with the Reinhardt. be an interesting pick because the normal head-to-head -head versus the ram is definitely going to favor the ramatra however the shatter is a fight winning ultimate and when you only need to win two to three fights here that could be the difference maker and that might be what multi is playing for here is the shatter so i'm going to be interested to see how they do this and if Vera can get a TP up to that high ground, then that means Multicell can get that Shatter online very quickly. Interesting TP. Push up here, so is Multicell going to be able to get some of that value? They already find one. Mercy dives into the fray. It is oncoming hammer of Multicell, and that is a bad team wipe for Post University. Actually, I don't think they quite got Kosu. Kosu made it out. Most go with a brief celebration there. Right on, right on, right on. <laughs> yeah, look at that. 40% of the way to their ultimate, and now Advent Anna has gone over to the battle cattle. So this is going to potentially provide a little bit more safety if they can use that um, fortify 
to block the shatter. That might be all that we need. Uh, JoJo already about 40% to their ultimate too, so... Big Kasune Rush should be all that it needs. Susu to clear that Discord orb off of multi-count. Ooh, Torero takes a lot of damage. Somebody over here to the left of Posey Mercy, so go to wrestle squad. No need to be aware from that. Yeah, it's gonna be Saucy Pickles. They do discover them, they push them back. Susu to keep everybody safe and healthy here. As now, Posey Mercy's kinda stalled out. TP up to the high ground here, though. They're gonna be looking to get, uh, to kind of surprise them. Find an opportunity from the back line. The, uh, ripped on them. In the meantime, Tony level does find one. Takes out the Reaper, and now, where are you gunning down everything in his path? He's asserting those path. Here comes the Kitsune Rush as well. It's on the clock. Post University just moments away from taking a map number three here and maintaining a perfect record at the ECAC. It is all wins so far for Post University in this spring split as they make it 3 0. Have not dropped a map yet this spring. And sodium level, I'm so glad that we get to see it. Because this ultimate was unreal. Gets the first pick. Goes in off the back of this play. Actually, no, got a 5K. Sodium level got the 5K there. What a phenomenal showing from sodium level. Um, that's going to go in the highlight reel for sure. So, uh, thank you all so much for tuning in once again. That's going to do it for us on this stream. Congratulations to the Post University Eagles. I think they are now 5-0 and o, uh, in this spring. So, congratulations to them. Be sure to tune back in, follow Post University on all their social media. My name, Warren Jungle God Hammond, GG's, and see you next time.